Mark Rogers TV with you once again on the top five college football coaches right now. In this edition, we will not hear from Jim Tressel, dismissed at Ohio State after 10 years of excellence marred by poor judgment. Or how about Lane Kiffin at USC? He's had three great jobs under the age of 40, but has yet to win anywhere. He's not on the list. Or Joe Paul, maybe the greatest of all time, but not so much in the last 15 years. Or Steve Spurrier, one huge at Florida, a national title in 1996, and probably his legacy is transforming offensive football and college football in the 1990s, but he was pretty much outdated by 2001. So here is the top five. Bob Stoops, Oklahoma. Yes, he's dismissed by some fringe college football fans and remembered for that monumental loss to Boise State in the Fiesta Bowl and also getting stopped in big bowl games. But look at Stoops' record. He's always in national title contention, and it's easy to think anybody could win at Oklahoma. But before Stoops got there in 2000, they didn't win. Then he got a national championship, and he's won ever since at Oklahoma. Number four, Frank Beamer. Where was Virginia Tech 20 years ago before Beamer? Not on the map at all. He hasn't won a national championship, but he has dominated the ACC despite the presence of Miami and Florida State. Look past Ohio State, USC, LSU, and Texas. Virginia Tech has been the most consistent winner in college football in the 2000s, and Frank Beamer's at the helm. Number three, Mac Brown, Texas. The same could be said as we talked about with Bob Stoops. It's Texas. He's got a great recruiting base, a lot of money. Anybody could win there. But what did Texas do in the 1990s? They floundered around 500 for most of the decade. Mac Brown is one big, a national title, always in the hunt, 10, 11, 12 game win seasons per season, and not a hint of NCAA investigation in Austin, Texas. Mac Brown wins with class. At number two, we've got Kurt Ferentz. Just think about Iowa high school football. It's not exactly Florida or Texas, is it? But he takes marginal talent, sprinkles in some NFL type players, and wins big at Iowa, usually in the top 15, the top 20, especially in big games. His teams step forward. Postseason play, they defeated SEC teams consistently. LSU, Florida, South Carolina. Kirk Ferentz doing a great job. He can flat out coach at Iowa. Number one, king of college football right now is Nick Saban at Alabama. Defense wins championships, and Saban notes defense better than anyone. His teams are poised. They're tough as nails. They play well under pressure. And Saban, again, multiple national championships. He did it at LSU and at Alabama. That's our top five. Saban at one, Ferenc at two, Brown at three, Beamer at four, and Stoops at five. Would love to hear your list on Mark Rogers TV.